This video is not meant for children and is brought to you by support from Patreon. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alex, and this is 40k Mechanicus. We are right back. We left off here on the mission select screen. And uh, with the uh, Necron Awakening progress being so high, I think we need to take drastic measures. We're going to go for Twilight of the Gods. Yes, difficulty, praise the Omnissiah, no rewards, but uh, we need to take care of this problem. And being that I imagine it's going to go rather quickly, or uh, rather slowly, skip a lot of the dialogue options and break this episode into two or three parts as necessary. You and you. You and you, couple of you. There we go. Words, 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 words. There we okay. go. Uh, search. Okay, well, that's not desirable. Glyph room. Healing. I won't say no, it's just kind of pointless. But still, it's better than bad things happening. Yep. Steadfastness, ambition, or piety. Uh, all units take two damage. That's nothing. We self-heal very well. Sacredness, sacrifice, scorn. Sacredness. Hey. Good stuff. Another glyph room. Circle. Plus three hit points. Awesome. That's fine. Destroy Dominance Perfection. Perfection. Okay, so they got initiative, but that's fine. This means they move closer. Alright, looks like we have a few bosses we're going to need to kick the pants out of. Good for them. Kill all enemies. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Looks like we want to destroy these plinth things too. Okay. You can go there. Actually, no. Stay right where you were. Melee guy. Next to you. Gun guy. Next to you. Secondary bonus combat guy. Where you're... And healer mode. No, you're the secondary bonus combat guy. You're the healer, right? Yeah. Start battle. Um, destroy you, I guess. Your manner of warfare is intriguing, but inefficient. Longed for future reference. Okay. You stole my cognition. Okay, this guy dies first. That's, that's, that's the long and short of it right there. I need cognition. I have seen the true form of the galaxy. It does not include you. 
Okay. Praetorian class pattern of dual class weaponry. Strange signatures, wave coming from the Xenos foe. Indeed, these weapons must be interfering with our Voxcasters, Quartermaster. Comes our personal pleasure of yours. Any suggestion? New sphere communication channels not affected. Weaponry can vibrate at frequencies higher than our diagnostic devices are capable of understanding. Possible dimensional shifting. This has caused unpleasant communication issues between Imperial squads and our forward bases on Silver Tenebris. Too much talking. Frequency fixed. Use new sphere. Most intriguing. I wonder what distance this can affect Vox casters. Particle casters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he summons he summons dudes, which are fine. What right have you to tread this planet? It was hours before you crawled from the swamps of your home world. Um, the Emperor gives us the right. Okay. Melee guy. Where are going to have to cross over because I did not know that that uh, cognition stealing jerk face was over there so move this way and wait gun guy move this way and wait had I known I would have started on the other side that way we could be closer to our primary Icky face guy target. Thank you for that. Oh, here's Mealy Guy. Good, good. Put you behind this plinth just in case. Uh, no, no extra friends. How dare these wretched things? Okay, you're gonna nightmare shroud again. I don't know what that's gonna do, but it means we're gonna kick your butt soon. One damage. Good on you, buddy. Okay. So everyone but Melee Guy is going to go before Meheb. All right, well, that's fine. That means we can at least get up. We can do some things. Let's see, you are our, oh, crossover half combat friend guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, then we'll start here. Increase our critical chance. And no, no amount of armor will save you from this. Free cognition point. Next attack. Bigger gun. And is yours? Yeah, your axe takes uh, effort. And oh yeah, we'll we'll have our. Oh no, he'll he'll suck away the uh, cognition before. So uh, might as well. You're our next best melee guy, so. Oh, we have no cognition. That's right. Well, this is inconvenient. Alright, guess I can't do that. Gun guy! You're you'll be fun. Oh, I see. Okay, well, we can fire once. Let's do the ignore armor shot, at least to start. 
There we go. Oh, I should have drained cognition points from the guy by doing... Okay, well... I can at least do that now. I will help out many more friends. Okay. Ignore armor shot, go! And this will reveal his stats as well. Still has 24 life to go. Dang. That is, uh... Wildly inefficient. But it is what it is. Alright. Well, we can at least, uh... If we can't work on the Destroyer Lord, we can at least poke fun at this thing. Get our machine spirits up. Yay, critical. Get two more contagion points from... or cognition points, golly. From over here! There we go. Yeah. And you stole all our cognition points. Yeah, you are definitely on my main hit list right now, buddy. Okay. Alright, so. Move on up. And I have no cognition points to boost this. Still, Mega Axe damage. And he only has energy, so... There we go. I'll take it. Because there's nothing else I can do. Everything else requires cognition points. Except for the Servo Skull, which I will, uh... Increase the armor of my buddy there, I guess. The Sounds great. Summon another dude. Vanguard, not a problem. I see the architecture of fate. I see your deaths written in stone. All the galaxy is laid out before. And he's rapidly coming towards us, but that's fine. It makes it easier for us to get to you. When my fleet sails once more, vermin like you shall be strung from my prow. Neat. Okay, good thing our healer is off to the side and able to do stuff. And you just moved closer. Whatever. Cool. Okay. Necron Vanguard? Don't care. Alright. So you. Soak up cognition points, please. Now we can start doing some more stuff. Let's see. Two physical armor for one for one round or something else. Nah, meh. Alright. K 
cast your cantrip call for free. Um, let's gain six cognition points. That sounds good. All right. Yeah, we're going to do no damage right now, but you will, uh... Oh! Still, two damage and some acid. Okay. It's, uh... Not going to be very pleasant for this guy, for this guy, but... Still, that's uh, one less impediment to what we are doing. Cool, cool. Enjoy your acid. Okay. We're going to delay your turn. You, my friend, however, we can, uh... You can maybe get an angle on this guy. I guess. Actually, we should do some healing. So, move here. Medical poke. Poke. There we go. Ignore armor shot. Bonus damage reveal stats. Ah, he's got physical protection. Good, good. So we won't melee attack that guy. I will distant prayers. Our most wounded friend. There we go. Alright. And you... Well, we can work on this guy, too, I guess. Two to three. Actually, hold on. No, we'll, we'll save it. Two to three. Lovely. I really should learn to delay that guy's turn until after the hell out. Oh. Oh yeah, he stole our two pieces of cognition. Yes, please come closer so we can kick your ass more easily. Alright. I really should have turned one of these into the cognition removers. Yeah, live and learn. Gain six cognition points. There we go. Alright, Sanctus can Canister. Self. You, big jerk face. All right. Bonus damage. Destroy and jammer. Yeah, we're fourteen to sixteen damage. I like it. And it reduces his armor. There we go. And enjoy some acid. And we're going to move here. Take up that. There we go. And with that from him, I think this is a good time for me to end this episode. So here's where I'm going to say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as I've enjoyed making it for all of you. If you do, please remember to like, comment, share these videos around, and if you would also, please subscribe. 
It's a little click for you, but a really big deal for me. With that being said, I shall see you all on the next one.